Hello everyone, back for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 13th of April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SGFS and ECM ensembles very much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that gets us to the end of April. I shall get away back for you in a moment, just save up first on video channel 6 a.m. upload and could be live streaming at 8 p.m. this evening. So uh, we'll hang out, have a bit of uh, chat, um, have a look at the uh, 12Z operational runs, and we'll show you a little bit long range in the live stream as well. So that will be coming up at 8 p.m. Nice chill Monday night live. Uh, I'll see you uh, then, baby. Uh, if you could please like, share, subscribe on the uh, video streams and whatnot. Thanks so much, dear Matt. I hope you're having a lovely Monday afternoon. It's a gorgeous day today, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. So, um, I hope you're getting out there into the sunshine and enjoying it. Right, let's start off with CT. Central temperature currently sitting at 8.4, which is about half a degree above 61 to 90, 90 average. That is provisional up to yesterday to the second of uh, of april now that's probably gonna tick down a little bit over the next couple of days because we are in for some quite cold nights had a cold night last night uh with widespread frost and uh, be another one to come tonight as well so i reckon that might tick down over the next couple of days or so these are the gfs upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks looking at birmingham today the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Birmingham, starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. We have got an inversion going on, which means this time of year it's milder by day, but still quite cold at night. Um, we're going to see the upper air temperatures dropping a little bit towards the end of the week, then picking back up a little bit over the weekend, and then just sticking quite close to the long-term 30-year average. Precipitation-wise, starting off reasonably dry. There's going to be some wet weather to come uh, around Thursday. And then we go drier into the Easter period um, and through to the second week of uh, April. Maybe a little bit more unsettled in the second half of the month because that's a long way out and uh, is therefore unreliable. Temperature anomalies from the 3rd to the 11th of April, a little bit below average for England and Wales, perhaps a little bit above for Scotland and Ireland. It's not a particularly big deviation anyway. Notice most of the continent though looking uh, really quite cold. And precipitation anomalies from the 30th of April, they're coming out drier than normal. Latest wind from map from EarthNoSchool.net shows that we're bringing an easterly wind today as high pressure has taken over uh, to the east of the country and that's blocking off the areas of low pressure. Lots of low pressure in the Atlantic but they're all being blocked at the moment by a big area of high pressure that's sitting to the northeast so it's pulling in the wind from an easterly direction. Okay, let's go to the chart day to end. Miss Savvy UK met Europe Road. It's looking midnight on Thursday. Trough pushing through the country on Thursday, but taking uh, showery rain with it. Actually forms a little area of low pressure uh, Thursday through to Good Friday. That gets out of the way, and then over the east weekend itself, high pressure takes over across Scandinavia, gets the wind into the east. So it won't be a particularly warm Easter, but it will turn drier um, by looking at it as the uh, east weekend rolls on. That's Easter Monday, as far as we get to with the UK Met today. It's a big night on Monday tap, by which time low pressure is knocking on the door of uh, Ireland. I can't, looks like that again, pushing a trough through on Thursday for an area of low pressure, then high pressure takes over behind it. Uh, now, I can't has low pressure coming off the Atlantic as early as Easter Monday, so um, we don't actually get a completely dry Easter weekend, so Saturday certainly has a drier trend as uh, low pressure is back in again by the time you get through the moment. It has always been a question mark about how long this high pressure is going to last for. Um, I think one of the videos last week, you know, asked that question in the title, how long will the high pressure last? And uh, we still have those questions about whether this high pressure will break down quite quickly, actually, um, as early as the Easter weekend. Let's see what GFS uh, Midnight Run is doing. So, uh, again, Thursday, top low pressure moving through, bringing showery conditions with it. Then high pressure builds in its wake, uh, gives us hopefully a mostly dry uh, Easter Saturday and Easter Sunday. Still with a nice ridge there on Easter Monday with the GFS Big Night Run. Um, and uh, even up to day 10, actually, uh, high pressure to our east, uh, kind of blocking off the uh, Atlantic there. 
Uh, plenty of high pressure in the extended range with a GFS midnight run uh, as well. He's finished up looking like that. Very nice reach. That's uh, that might be game of touch into 20s Celsius, I think, there at that reach high pressure. So uh, the GFS midnight run, very high pressure center, very high pressure dominated. But GFS 6 then again pushes that trough with country on Thursday with high pressure building in its wake as we go through the uh, Easter weekend. Low pressure trying to break down that ridge out in the Atlantic, but high pressure is quite stubborn and is standing its ground. It actually builds back again as we go up towards Daytown with a proper easterly flow setting in. So, uh, again, high pressure dominating over Scandinavia over the next 10 days, and um, eventually we strengthen an easy flow. It shouldn't be that cold, but we'll have a bit of a chilly, uh, raw type feel to it. Uh, quite deep over low pressure down across Biscay there as we get through to the middle of April. We've got day 10 now, of course, but got quite a deep low down towards Biscay, Spain, Portugal. High pressure to our northeast. That's pulling in wings from an east to southeasterly type um, direction. But that low pressure kept at bay, actually. It's been quite a rain, no doubt, Spain, Portugal, but kept at bay by this blocking area of high pressure around the UK. Eventually, the GFS 6 then gets that high pressure to Greenland, and we start putting in a cooler or a colder northeasterly by the 19th of April. If you enjoyed the video, then please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, and let us know what you think about this all of our videos. Thank you so very much, everybody, uh, for doing that. GM, once again, pushing the trough through the country on Thursday, taking uh, showery rain with it. Um, then high pressure builds to our uh, east into the Easter weekend, blocking off the areas of low pressure in at least a while. But by Easter Monday, low pressure starting to uh, move in from off the Atlantic. A little bit more of an unsettled look to the GM compared to the GFS output, especially for the north. Although the ridge sort of hanging hang on just about down in the south. And then the ECM looks like this. Again, we push that trough through on uh, Thursday, so you show rain with it. Forms a little area of low pressure, it does so, so it could be some quite wet weather into the east and south for a while, into Good Friday. Then high pressure takes over in its wake across Scandinavia by east of Monday, turning perhaps more unsettled in the north and in the northwest too. And then up to day 10, high pressure builds over to the east of the country, and that starts pulling the wind into a southerly. And if you have a look at the upper air temperature, you can see I've got some very warm air sitting just to our south there. Now, we had a lot of this sort of pattern last summer, of course. So, let's just have a quick chat about that. Notice this area of low pressure down here. It's what we call a cut-off low to the west of Portugal. Ridge building over and to the east of the country. And between the two, between the cut-off low between the Azores and Portugal and the ridge sitting across western and uh, central Europe, we get the wind into a southerly. And uh, that's the pattern that gave us 40 degrees last summer. It gave us regular hot weather, has given regular heat spikes. That's been like a repeating pattern over the past several summers, giving us regular heat spikes through those summers. And of course, last summer, we had the heat spike to end all heat spikes, where we brought up that extremely hot air from uh, North Africa, we've got 40 Celsius. Now, we're seeing that pattern beginning to re-emerge there by day 10 with the uh, ECM. Not necessarily saying that uh, it will uh, be a repeating pattern again this uh, this year, but um, it is interesting that there it is, uh, and it's a pattern that we had a lot last summer. Right, anyway, that's just of note. Uh, so let's just have a quick look at the uh, ECM uh, precipitation type forecast from Tobetjo.com. So there will be a lot of dry weather over the next few days. But as we get through to Thursday, Friday, we've got this area of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic, bringing some quite wet weather with it. Um, and takes a while to get rid of that. Into Good Friday, still got that uh, area of low pressure to our south and south, being further shadow rain for a while. But eventually things will be turning drier over the east weekend uh, itself. By Easter Monday, wet weather coming in off the Atlantic, spoiling Easter Monday away from the southeastern corner anyway. And then up to date, it starts to turn drier. Winds start pulling into the south, so any rain is mostly in the far west and northwest. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets to the 13th of uh, April from the Icelandic Met Office. 24 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure 
to ourselves and east low pressures away to the north and west and that gets a wind into a uh, reasonably warm southwesterly or maybe even southerly 15 with low pressure in off the atlantic bringing uh, unsettled weather in from the west of course and then 12 with a scandinavian high and winds going into the east so that warmer option is actually the majority option there within the ecm ensemble today for the 13th of april i meant in two weeks time these are the options that we've got this will get us to the 18th of april 13 members of the ecm ensemble bringing low pressure in from off the atlantic so that keeps it pretty unsettled especially in the north and west so another 13 though with high pressure over and slightly to the east of the current chapter is mostly dry potentially quite warm weather 12 with a mid-atlantic ridge going up towards greenland and iceland winds pulling into a chilly north or northeast leave that seven with again high pressure ridging to our north and west and that's bringing in a wind from perhaps a cooler northeast direction and then six with low pressure over to the east of the country and that bringing in uh chilly winds from the northwest and it looks unsettled too so a lot of options by the time we get the two weeks out. CFSB2 finally means a 500 millibar height anomaly is broken down into weekly periods. The first week period will take us from the 3rd to the 9th of April. The coming week has high pressure dominating over Scandinavia. Low pressures out in the Atlantic. And that brings the wind into an east sea direction. So mainly dry, but certainly not a heat wave. Uh, week 2 is going to be the 10th to the 16th of April. More influence from low pressure. Uh, CFS looks quite unsettled there. The week two of low pressure coming in off the Antigas, high pressure retreats to the north and the northeast. Week three will be the 17th to the 23rd of April, high pressure event around Greenland and Iceland, but also to our east. That could start to bring up uh, quite a warm, southerly, southeasterly type flow. And uh, then we get through to week four, and high pressure is back in control, 24. 30th of April, high press sitting over and just to the east of the country. Winds again will be coming in from a southerly southeasterly direction. I think that could be reasonably dry and quite warm, actually. It wouldn't be too bad at all, I don't think, there. All uh, right, okay, we're done. So if you enjoyed the video, then please can you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this, all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about Gals Web Beats. It's amazing. It's incredible. And we thank you so very much, everybody, uh, for uh, doing that. Right, so we're going to be live streaming at uh, 8 p.m. I shall see you then. Just, I shall see you that. Uh, I, should, I shall see you then for that. Um, just to tell you, that's coming up tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 a.m. upload. We'll have the EC30 today. Look ahead. I am going to try and get that Easter update done as well. Uh, and I'll be at 10 to 14 days. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But I shall see you later on for our live. And enjoy the rest of this lovely, lovely Monday afternoon. And for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.